Ming, I want to go. Yes, Ming, we's getting I... ready to go. We, 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 all the way home. Ouch. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> we were on the dark table. Baby. That's right. That we're live. That's right. We, we're live. We, 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 we. Yes, Wee -wee. and I have a kitty cat trying to help. Oh, hey, everybody. And you know what? I totally forgot to change my name. Change uh -oh. my name, change my name. Uh. <laughs> we have a situation in the war room. A situation in the war room. I know. We do. Damn it. I... That's right. There. Oop. Nope. I want to well, do that. Okay. It is... Better to bomb than to be bombed. I have spoken. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. And that's I right. like to drop F-bombs. The other kind of bombs, eh, oh. not interested in. But F-bombs, I can uh. do that. Yeah. Oh, you're one of you're one of those dreadful peacenicks I've read about on the Internet. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <sighs> and you, and if you give me a more. piece, I'll give you peace. <laughs> Serve of call. Pie. She's talking weird again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brought rain. Okay. Next. Okay. Over here on Twitter, thank you, Barman, for tweeting Twitter. this out. I really oh. appreciate it. And I don't know, but apparently yesterday I pissed a few people off over on Twitter. I lost uh -oh. three stalkers. Oh, oh man. she lost these stockers. So. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> did you lose them in your stockings? No, I did not, because if they were stuck oh. in my stockings, they'd probably go and let us out. We can't breathe. I could, <laughs> I could offer some help with that if that was the case. Ooh, mm. hey. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Uh, my good friend Pedro from the car wash says hi. Oh, hey, Pedro. So, um, Over here on this effing site, I'm saying yeah, hey. That's... Oh. F and site. Grimmy shared us over there as well. Thank you, Grimmy. Um, Grim I also Joe. see, let's see, who okay. else? Uh, Bob Renner and Rob Works hey, and Mary Bob. B. Woohoo! Rob and, and B. Hey, everybody. I know. Bonus round. Oh, and yeah. over on Facebook, eh, not a whole heck of a lot going on, but that's okay. That's okay. Mm. Mines, I, oh, wow. I don't know what's going on with mines. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a unique format, too. Yeah. Yeah, it so. is. Okay. I need to I need to pull up the Real Liberty Media page over there so I hello. can... Hello, so minds can, from the hello. mind of another to the mind of you. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do you we have We are penetrating. Your... That's how we work here at Flashco. Oh, woo. Oh, see, cycles. He's talking weird. Hello, honey. <laughs> Yeah, and you're gonna tell on me. Oh man, that you freaking, hit me and shit with my wife. Oh. You're sitting there talking about penetrating. Gee, y'all, well, freaking you know, weirdo. The, the broader, <laughs> I mean it in the most innocent way as well. Slightly, you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my story, and I'm sticking to it, no matter how bad Ooh. it looks in court. Oh, hey, Grimmy said it's better to get bombed with a big bud bomber. Sweet. <laughs> My friend. He's a big bud bomber. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. So are, are we ever going to say greeting? Well, we said um, some. Oh, shit. Grimmy shot the duck before I could be fat. Be oh, duck yeah. duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I actually I had told... duck hunt. What long, if I long told you ago? once? I've told you a hundred times. Please drive with your eyes open. <laughs> it makes me feel secure when you drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You ever get behind one of those idiot girls that's doing her fucking eye makeup in the rearview mirror? Yeah. Ever just want to stop and just get out of the car and go shake her car like it was an earthquake? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Jump Time up and two. down on the Remember the bumpers when we had metal steel bumpers and you could get yeah. on a bumper and jump up and down on it and the whole fucking car would shake? Yeah, yeah. Whoever was having sex in it would think they were really good. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Uh, Damn, we up. got the car a-rocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 
Three. Speaking of rocking, over here on the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us static, is right up top the splendiferous barman, closely followed by Grimner, and he is RLM God. I think Moose Girl is probably sleeping in because, yeah, I think maybe she had a late night. I don't know. I don't know. I try not to. Why'd you bring it up? Don't. Um, because because I want to start rumors. Oh, rumors, yeah. rumors. Yeah, you're, rumors you're are like fun. You're like way late in, in the line for that. There's people that do it way before you ever get online. Oh, I know they do, and it's like God, yep. you guys. They're worse than the TV set. I'm telling you. Oh, oh Ming. I you ever want to just pick happens. up a television set and throw it out the window just to hear it crack on the cement below you? No, not really. I have. Well, I, uh, well, I'd be the I'm one that so would have to clean up the mess. Oh, I never said anything about that. Oh, uh, we'll just, see. Yeah. Okay. Hello, RLM. Hi, RLM. We're, I also see the strange. lovely Kate is here. Hi, Kate. How you doing? And Hello, looky Miss there. Kate. Beth Z signed back in again yesterday. <laughs> Woo-woo. And Chalcedony yeah, is here. Do I? I heard she was having a little trouble with her eyes, oh. or I read on the internet webs. Ah, yeah. So, oh. yeah, well, I'm a victim of bad eyesight, too, so I know how that is. Eck. I am, too. I can still see the computer screen just fine, though, so I'm good. I'm good. Actually, mm. yeah, I'm good. Yeah. For uh, now. She's a good. <laughs> I'm a good. 1999, she did a really good. <laughs> <laughs> And it's been downhill from there. I also see Chalcedonies in the house, as well hey. as Chloe. We just got one Chloe in here right now yeah, because the other she, one pinged she, out. She boycotts um, us, I think. She nah. don't like me too much. Ah. Uh, mm. uh, ah. Yeah. Uh, it's just on the internet. Uh. I call her lefty. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Oh, I, not that kind of lefty. Oh, lefty. oh. Be specific. Be Pacific. <laughs> be an ocean. Oh. Oh. Be water, my friend. Um, oh. I'm here. <laughs> Gramsci, dork. <laughs> I also see I be Doncy and I be Doncy hey, Woik. Don. And hey, Don, it worked too. We got yeah. double dipped. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're special. Oh, the town that dreaded sundown. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What town was that? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but trust no one said something about uh, a drive-in playing the same movie on two screens. And it's like, oh, that would be kind of cool, actually. Mm. That way, no matter where you look. But it is kind of mm. fun when you... Okay, let's finish saying hi. Hi, Thank Java, 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 Doctor T. Doctor. And Jay Dredd is still here. Hey, Jay Dredd. Oh, you old pain in the balls. <laughs> I also, oh, ouch. I also see JJ's is here. Thank you, Rob Works, for the bubbler, by the way. Um, Meister Brower is here. Woody. I hey. also see Mr. Asmodeus is in the chat. Asmodeus. Yeah. As well in as the, the chat. Yeah. yeah. The lovely rain is rain. in Spain, too. Yeah. <laughs> RLM Fluky is here. No, that's Thunderstorm. <laughs> Love Fluke. Lovely Fluke. Rob Works, who's the bubbler man, is hey, here. Bubbler. And Trusty oh. Feller is here as well. And oh my Trust God. Number one. We got two more Woodmans, too. Woody, well, Woody. I know. <laughs> Woody, Woody. Hey, I don't know, Woody. Um, Beetle. Hi, Beetle. Beetle. And Dakota. And Dima. Oh. And Dork Matter. Gee, I that's wonder me. who that is. Oh, that's you? Oh. I, why, yes, I'm representing the only substance known to man <laughs> that can cure cancer. Mm. Dork Matter. Yeah. Some of you might call it cannabis, but <laughs> it's... Actually, in the dork world, it is called dork matter. I have spoken. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that the kind of voice you just want to follow every everywhere that fucker went? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just to watch him walk into walls and trip. Cause it, it sounds like a goofy voice you know, yeah. attached to a goofy person. Yeah. Ooh, Jay Dredd That's just left. Mary. Bye, Hansel. Uh, our, oh, we, we've fallen and broken our Hansel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I, I, 
really kind of like it when he's not here anyway. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, we got another. Uh, see, we lost a Hansel and gained a Chloe, so it's all good. Hey, Chloe, Chloe. It balances out. I also see Echelon is in the chat. Hi, Echelon. Which, uh, and Fwampy. Fwampy. Uh, Fwampy. I know. Hey, I'm still Fwampy. I'm still running around in my lounging pajamas. I even went They're out and watered out. the yard in my lounging pajamas. You can do that when you live out in the boonies and you really don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. Uh, let's I see. Oh, city, and I can do it, and I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. Well, yeah, that's true too. Because see, we got fences, so if the neighbor sees me in my backyard naked, what's he doing looking in my yard? Yeah, over the fence. <laughs> yeah. I didn't him to look in the yard. Poivy. Go away, oh! I am busy, oh. Yeah, poivy bastard. Can't you see how I, I'm? See, I'm watering the tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to do it naked. <laughs> okay. So you're hosing things. Okay. I Hi, Kozu. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> Hi, Kozu. <laughs> Kozu. And hey, Meister Brower, huh? too. And we lost a woodman. But we, uh, we oh, still, well. yeah, we still got yeah. three of them. Moy, oh. Moy, 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 Moy is here. And from what I understand, Moy has not spoken yet. Hmm. Oh, care. very so, interesting. Uh, and looky uh, there, Nansan Dubois is here. Nansan Dubois. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. And Poxified, hey, but they're marked Nansen. away. Hey, Pox. Yeah, and Poxy Home. And, okay, I got to do this right. Man. Ribbon is here. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Papa wow. Pond Sauce and Sock yeah. Puppet. Uh, sock sock and is here. Sock. We got a Sock Puppet. Wow. And Phantom uh, to round out the crew. Yeah. It's the Phantom. <laughs> the Phantom. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? See, it's one of them their voices. that <laughs> I really would follow someone that talked like that around just to, just to be able to ah. get giggles for the day. Yeah. I would have voiced, too. I know. <laughs> anyway, so do you want to start the show by continuing our pre-show conversation? Or uh, uh, did you have other ideas there, little girl? I really, I'm, I'm pretty much open to suggestion. Well, okay, to make a point, there's another show called uh, The Red, Red Pill Sunday on UCY. Uh -huh. And the guy that does it is called Clint, Clint Richardson. And he's been doing uh, radio for quite a while. And he did his last show. Oh, man. Yeah. He says he's going to get off the off the uh, electronic world and put it to paper instead. And that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and, in, and in the two-hour show, he explains why, you know, what led him to make that decision. And if you know the guy, if you've ever listened to him before, he's kind of confusing because... He uses the Bible as a source of reference, but claims not to be a big believer in God. So you go, wow, what the hell is he talking about? Oh, you know, it's it's a different. That's what I mean. I I look at possibilities, you know, just because uh, this group says the world is round and they can prove it with this proof and that proof. And this other group says it's flat and they can prove it with this proof and that proof. Just because both those groups think they're right lets me think that, hey, maybe there's more to all this. Well, maybe what it's... What if it was neither? What if everybody's just putting stuff out there and then they're coming up with things that, that wind up being accepted as plausible reasoning behind them <laughs> just because they explained that. it so well? You've been digging really deep into the... The words, how the words are used. Mm -hmm. See, because there's common things that we know as uh, modern 21st century people, and they're based on a bunch of crap. Yeah. And there's proof that it's all based on a bunch of crap. Everything that we're doing right now is all, everything, based on a bunch of crap. Yes. I hate to tell you this, but our food, water, energy sources, all the things that we need to survive as human whatever human is now, it's all been tampered with and the medicine's been just fucked with beyond what you could possibly believe. We're, we're experimented on by our uh, better thans that have uh, education and money <coughs> and power. 
Oh, yeah. Right. But they've convinced the public that if it's lawful and legal, then they've got every right to do it. And you can't say shit about it. Yeah, but isn't it funny how it's lawful and legal for them to do it? But not for you to do it. Yeah. And I, I kind of wonder why, how can something be lawful and legal for one but not for another? If it's not lawful and legal for everyone to do it, then it's not lawful and legal for anyone to do it. That's not the way things are taught to it. That's what I mean. We're, we're all taught different things, of, the same thing in different ways, first off. Yeah. They separate it with race religion political beliefs and all this other shit that doesn't fucking matter it's all made up out of it's the story yeah but we live it by participating in it yeah but you can't really explain that to too many people where they don't think well you've been smoking the good shit today huh (laughs) yeah hey dan tenny c is here hi Mm. dan tenny c Wow, yelling made that better for me. Let I'm me sure it did. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah I have my the volume louder set. The say high. hello, the louder I hear you. Oh. <laughs> Funny how I'm that works, here isn't strapped it? In. Yeah, I'm your victim in my headphones. And yeah. I'm going, wow. Ah. Well, I'm glad you're not mad at me. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, what's this? Uh, Grimmy out of the quote. Know. Social order at the expense of liberty is hardly a bargain. The Marquis de Sade. That's true. That's true. Well, what what the list the list of things in society that are proper and do work is there isn't anything none of it works ah. it's all it's all set up to fail everything yeah and i don't know how come people today just don't want to look beyond the stories they're told maybe they call it laziness this electronic world has got people believing they're smarter than they truly are because they can follow the directions to push buttons. Yeah, and I just, I bypass the whole directions thing and just push buttons. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But intelligence has been hijacked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With this repetitive motion, reproduce, do what I did, and boom, you're, you know, what? Yeah. No. Look at how smart you are. Now I'm giving you a piece of paper to hang on the wall to let everybody know how smart you are. Yeah. Right. And and I've grown to believe that smart is a matter of knowing, not a matter of talking. Yeah. Okay. But I like to do the radio. Yeah. Not so much always to make any specific point, but sometimes just to have some fun and goof around based on a specific point. (laughs) Ah, see, and I, what was it I heard earlier this week in a video? Words do not heal. And okay. You, and that's, that was one of those things where it's like, oh, wow, that, yeah. But words are our means of communication. You know, we use yeah. them, and yet you can't heal or fix anything with words. Hmm. Well, so. that's not what the... Um, general population believes yeah i know there there and here we are talking about it proving it but reality is all based on what you hear and what you believe you're taught of what you're looking at Uh uh-huh because if you don't know the truth about something and it's been presented to you as the truth but it's not the truth you're going to argue and fight for that to be true just because it's what you know yeah Okay, well, how did they get us beyond looking at something and identifying, yep, that's made out of brick, I agree with that, okay, to where we're at now? Uh, A lot of bullshit stories that were built on bullshit stories that were built on bullshit stories. And Hmm. apparently, people developed a taste for bullshit. Oh, you think so? I think so. I think they developed a taste for it, and I think they also decided, no, we're just going to break that bullshit detector because we developed a real taste (laughs) for that. (laughs) Wow. Well, why is it so difficult to explain it to a person that has a a religious or an education background? They're the hardest nuts to crack, and they're usually the ones that are suffering the most. 
from the products of these very institutions that they support. Because they are listening to the radio frequency 102.5, whereas the message you're trying to give to them is being broadcast on 99.9. So, yeah, the wiring's different. Yeah. All right. So we understand all this, and then we come over to the dark table and kind of make fun of it all. But there, last week, me and you got into a little, I call it a disagreement, because I disagreed with you about uh-huh. something. Yeah. That's what a disagreement is defined as. Mm-hmm. So, but what I didn't count on doing was getting attached to it like it was like it had a life. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to make a point of that that just because I believe something, why the why the hell do I care so much about what I believe to raise my voice to make a point to somebody that doesn't want to hear the point I have to make? I don't know. Well, the it was about uh, Tellinger, he, South Tellinger, however you pronounce his last Michael name. Michael Tellinger. He's got this, yeah, yeah, he's got this commune thing, but he's in the wrong part of the world to do it. You know, and you brought it up, and I didn't want you know I didn't want to get all negative with you on on it from that side, so I got all negative from another side. <laughs> <laughs> and and I had a trigger moment. I will admit to that. Yeah, right, right, right. I realize that. But what we've got is a world full of people that are supporting bombing complete strangers based on financial decisions. And they think it's about something else. And they don't know it's not. It's about oil. Nothing more, nothing less. Just oil. But they use religious crap and terrorism and bullshit stories to get your support so they can do this shit to each other. See, and I don't even really know that it's necessarily about oil, because oil is is a means it's all about, to an yeah, end. It's all, about, it's, it's all about oil. Oil pipelines. Well, oil transportation, Mary. Oil, oil, I, oil, oil. Well, oil, oil. I see oil as a means to an end because it's the control mechanism, and so to me, it's all it's all about control. It's the M M&M and M theory, or my M M&M and M theory. They've got all the green M M&M and Ms over there, and it doesn't make a difference that I've got all the blue and all the yellow, and all the red and all the brown ones. They've got green ones, and by God, that's not fair because I don't have any. So let's go bomb the it shit matters. out of them. Right. Then it does matter because the end result is what we're seeing. Yeah. Well, then, okay. You just said it doesn't matter. It does matter. What the point is is that it shouldn't matter. It matters because people allow it to matter. Well, yes. Okay, I will agree with that, but I'm I'm just <clears throat> agree or not, that's the way it is. You you do what you do. Everybody does what they do, and it doesn't really involve other people directly. It's so indirect that it's hard to explain to in a third person kind of way. Yeah. My buying or not buying oil matters in 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 the overall but oil is the tool that they're using in order to maintain control right i realize that oil so and I information try to, yeah and i try to use as little as the, of the shit as i can because we're in the modern day world where you can't make your own yeah we're being controlled by somebody for our own good, like a bunch of dogs in a kennel. You can do this between here and there, and you can go here between this time and that time, and you can do these things, and you can do those things. That's not freedom, and in any way, freedom. And what I think freedom truly is is nothing but fucking work, because you'd be free of all this bullshit, but you'd have to survive without all the property and uh you know, the modern day conveniences that we think we need. Yeah. I grew up without them, so I, I have a, a foundation. Oh, see, and, hmm, oh, we did an awful lot of walking and riding bike, and, and I still, you know, if I don't have to drive somewhere, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't have to. You see, you're always a victim of your wants too. Yeah. You want to have a car so you don't have to walk, but when you have to drive the car, you don't want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Crazy peoples, man. Uh, 
that's what how I see it is. Wait a minute, you're kind of telling it backward in a way. Okay. Because we, as people, we should be more generous with each other than we are taught to be. We're so fucking selfish because life's been made so easy that human beings are cheap. Mm, and I, th I, th I think we've been taught to be the wrong kind of selfish. Because That's you need to be, you need saying. to be selfish enough to, to take care of yourself so that you can be. So that well, you can not, assist those that you care selfish, about. That's not Mary. Mary, that's not selfish. That's common sense to be taking care of yourself. So what I mean, these things have been hijacked, distorted, uh, regurgitated in 57 different ways. So at the end, it doesn't mean anything. It's just words. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. Th that's how I feel I'm listened to. Except by a very select few people that I, I talk to, you know, those people get what I'm talking about. The radio thinks some, I, I would assume by the, the, um, amount of activity on the site that it's on, that would tell me the answer to that. Yeah. But I don't think about this in my daily normal, uh, existence. I don't think about any of this stuff. Well, and on my daily normal existence, I think about critters and mm -hmm. garden and <laughs> people nice? around me and yeah. Right, right, right. And see, that's what I mean. We've been brought into this electronic world. Ah. Right? Yeah. So instead of doing things that are good for you, you're doing things that aren't good for you. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm just and um, there's hmm. Hmm. What 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 good came of Facebook? Truly. Truly? Yeah. It's a tool. No, no, it's not what I well, Come on, Mary, please. It's me. I know. What I know. Good, I, don't tool me. What good came out of it? I asked you a specific question. A specific what, question? I can keep... a good thing that came from Facebook. Um, connections that I have with my siblings on an almost instantaneous basis, uh, if need be. Okay. Um, so, basically, ego and, you know, ego and selfishness. Okay, was, so you want to look it, at that? It, it, yeah, because, right, it's, it's how I, I'm looking at the other side of the coin that you're not capable of seeing. Okay. Okay, and that's what makes you you, is you don't have this ability or curse or whatever it is that shows me the negative side of a good thing. Oh. And, exp and it explains to me in, in some sense, like, oh, that's the bad side of this shit. Uh, I didn't see that before, but... I'm willing to look at it, and it's not pretty. Oh, I know. I know there's lots of ugly to Facebook. But the good stuff, what it did was it played off your ego in what seemed to be good ways, but to me, they're not. That's my opinion. I don't think your family should be used as a, a control mechanism to get you to dance because advertisers want to sell you refrigerators that talk. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where it went. It had, they have no concern about you staying close to your family. Their only concern is that you buy their shit that they're selling. Okay. There you go. And the consumers with more money than cents don't give a fuck if something lasts 30 days or 30 minutes. They got money. They can buy it. And there's lots and lots of them. Yes. And the rest of us down here on the survival level of life, so to speak, that might live month to month or week to week or whatever paycheck crap they got you in. See, it's it's a wheel when it shouldn't be this way. But then what they'll was my what people argue with me about. Well, then you got to have government. Well, no, you don't. Government is the problem. Yeah. Gov government is what keeps you weak. So you can't ever survive it. It's horrible. If you're not in it, get away from it. Yeah. Because all it does is gives you the illusion that it's doing something for you 
that it's not doing. <laughs> You're just taught to look at it that way. True. I mean, how do you feel about that wall they want to build down on the Mexican border? What is that? 1,800 mile border. <laughs> and, and some dummy wants to build a fucking wall on it. Mm, seeing that, I just, I don't see it happening. So, so no, it's, it's, it's yeah, a distraction. I see that as years. a distraction. You, well, good. From what? From I have no idea. I just, it's uh, one of those. To, uh, well, how could it distract you from something if you don't know what you're see, being See, that's why I, know that's why I don't pay from. attention to it. I, the I just don't. Yeah. And the fucking banking. If you're paying attention to this stupid shit about North Korea and Syria and South America, then you're not paying attention to the bankers and the fucking pol the politics that's going on behind your back when you're getting told another story. Yeah. So there's your distractions and what they're for. And they work. Well, they're they're supposed to keep you from seeing that you can make some kind of uh, decisions about your own well-being. They're supposed to keep <laughs> you distracted from what's going on right in front of you. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, what you have some control over and keep you looking at what's going on way over there that whether it happens or not you really have no control over what happens way over there all you can do is deal with what's right in front of you right your you. mess that you have right there deal with that yeah if there's no mess in front of you then why get sucked into the mess because it's on the electronic world showing it to you like an advertisement on a TV set it's the same principle there is no violence where I live. Okay. Okay. There is uh, life going on. And every once in a while, somebody might act up and do something, but never enough for uh, police. Shit like that. Well, and there's no violence where I'm at right now. But exactly. There so that's is my violence. Point. So we get sucked into the electronic world. <laughs> With the other stuff that doesn't involve us directly. Okay. Why? Because we're curious creatures, that's why. Okay, do you know how to build a car? Um, Actually, not the new ones, no. Uh, all right, my point was more like, is there something that you could spend, you know, spend your time doing that would be more important than what you're doing with it? And I say, yeah, but of course I'm a lot older now. So now the sitting around on my ass time isn't so bad, you know. I wouldn't have enjoyed it years ago. Well, you know, most things that I really get into researching are things that I can actually use in my everyday life. So. Yeah, well, there you go. But average ordinary Joe that works or goes to school then you get that's it you got work transportation and sleep what else do you do what else do i do i live my life not you oh, Mary. i know Fucking but that day. well Are that's you, what everybody not, else does too you're not joe average american in any in, in any galaxy you're weirder than weird well okay yeah don't you know but by, by the way that you see life compared to the way other people see it that you live among. You see things they don't see. Yeah, but when I see them and I share them with them, doesn't then help. It's not for it, that. It it's de not for it them. depends though. Sometimes sometimes they will see not exactly what I see, but they will see something yeah. very similar and go, "Oh wow, I hadn't thought of it like that," or, "Hey, I never noticed that." So that's Good. that's kind of sort of. What I consider my purpose is to, <laughs> wow, look oh, at that. Oh, stuck on that? Purpose? No, no. Well, you know what? If I'm going to be here and I'm going to be doing something, I may as well be sharing what I see just like everybody else does. I'm just not one of those people that says, damn it, you're going to see it the way I want it, want you to see it because that's the way I see it. doesn't make a shit and bit of difference if they're standing two feet away and they happen to see some kind of detail that I don't see. They have to see it my way. And there's an awful lot of people in this world that are like that. You have to see it my way. 
Okay, right. whatever. There's, there's explanations that tell that explain to me in a way I understand this. We're all using the wrong words, so the meaning is manufactured. It's not what it was originally, it's what it's made to become. This is man man made. Everything is manufactured out of everything. Oh yeah. Nothing is natural anymore. It's been hijacked and we've been like conditioned to accept shit that's just wrong. Like this inoculation crap or the banking system or what else? Putting GMOs in the food, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, well, they're just yeah. They're experimenting on us like mm -hmm. we're uh like we're animals in a pen. Oh yeah. What do you Okay, so what I did was I physically kind of, well, not really physically cuz I still have a few documents in, you know, for the uh for the state in case I needed to, to do anything with them. So I'm not free of them. I just don't use their shit daily. Yeah. I might well, I might have been What's it been? Almost four years now. ID and all that kind of crap. Yeah. I haven't needed it since the state wanted. Who are you when me and Cirque wanted to stay together? Yeah. So we did their little dance. Yeah. There you go. It's That's all it was to me. It was just paperwork because I don't really care. I already made up my mind. <laughs> So, I don't think the rest of the world lives on the level of reality that I live on. No. I think they're, they're, they take the game way more seriously than I do. See, and everybody lives in their own level of reality. So, everyone, and right. every once in a while, they cross the stream, at, you know, as they say in <laughs> Ghostbusters. So no, I never saw Ghostbusters. Ah, well, don't cross the stream. <laughs> okay. But maybe you need to cross the stream to get rid of the bad guy. But don't cross. Yeah, it's it's goofy. bad guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The okay. evil overlord from another dimension, but. Uh, oh, Boris. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boris and Doris. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Are See? you Are you afraid of the Ruskies? No. I'll tell you what I'm afraid of. What's that? And that's that these fucking government idiots keep shooting their fucking mouth off, you know, through the Internet and the MSM, talking about governments as though they were the fucking people that lived within the confines of these goddamn borders. Yeah. They don't speak for me. Not one of them. Not America. Not Denmark. Not Russia. No fucking body. And they'll hate me because I'll say that out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. They don't care what side you're on. They just want you on a side. The, what they don't want is for you to be like Rob Works and tell them to go fuck their self. Yeah, they all suck. That's right. And until you face that and deal with it in your own special little way, um, I don't know. I was listening to the Clint talk about the name-calling thing doesn't change anything. No. no. So it doesn't help. It, it's pointless. Oh, well, I said you're a this, and oh, you said I'm a that. Oh, well, let's dance. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah, it's it's still one coin that gets tossed, and it's heads they win, tails you lose. And and I've said many times to, to my wife and to you and to anybody that hears my voice, communication, verbal communication, is 90% of the problem. It's not the answer. It's how they keep us controlled. Yeah. Breaking away from that mental control and that desire to be on the right side and the winning team and the good guys and all that horse shit and stand alone and just be away from all of it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm attempting to do. And for X amount of years now, it's been pretty damn successful. Well, there you go. See, and that works right. for you. Exactly. And to look at a guy in a, in a, you know, a normal life, an average life, he's exactly where he thinks he should be. He doesn't know there's a choice. Does He's not wired to understand it that way. It's, it's different for him or her. Yeah. People are taught things like you. You're, you have a purpose, a fulfillment, something to make you feel better about blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. 
and and I'm a hedonist, so my whole experience is all about having a good time. Okay. Yeah, and it's there's no um, you have tos or you should. Well, I've got a few you shoulds, but they're personal things. It's not like I expect you to do it just because I said so. In my, I'm just telling you in my own way is I know it works because I've done it. Well, but that kind of trust level comes from people that physically know you. Oh, yeah. Human beings are not as social as we once were, Mary. The world has gotten smaller because of the Internet, and you don't need to reach out anymore as much as you did once. Well, yeah, social media ruined people being social amongst each other. And and so, so between social media and cell phones, but and I think part of that is because people just absolutely lack any kind of elf control, if you will. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Well, it means that they don't don't know how to relegate their time properly. Oh, I'm terrible at that. So what's that? I don't even have a smartphone. I don't even want one. Well, see, and there's an awful lot of people that have smartphones and their face is frickin' yeah. glued to it. And it's like, my do wife, you not understand? My wife, her life is easier with her phone. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not ignorant, but I don't play that, I don't play that side of the game. I play another, thanks. Well, she uh, uses, okay. she uses her phone as the tool that it was intended to be, whereas other people have allowed that tool to overtake their lives. Exactly. Yeah. And fortunately for me, she knows that. So hmm. you can't trick somebody if they know they're being tricked. Then and they might be being tricked, but it's that knowing it changes the whole game. Yeah. The balance, the balance gets shifted. So when, when, when you're on one wavelength and the other shit's on another one, you'll know it. But will you know it? Because if it's on another wavelength, will you even, I will. will you even sure. see it? Yeah, because I'm looking for identifying things in life. And when they're not there, I know what to figure out to come to a decision about what went wrong. So, what, or what, oh, so what you're is, a human I scanner. Than, I don't know. I think differently than other people do. I see problems coming ahead of time and prepare myself depending on what it is. Some things you can't prepare from and some things you can. Ah, Howdy, CT. Cowboy's and, and, here. Hey, cowboy. And I'm talking about simple things like, hey, the cat sleeps on the stairs around this house. So if I'm coming down the stairs and I'm not looking at my feet, maybe I'm looking in, you know, straight ahead or some stupid thing like that hanging on the rail, I could step on the damn cat. Yeah. Well, I know he sleeps there, so I know to be, hey, the cat sleeps there. Look. Oh. Uh-huh. See, and I woke up in the middle of the night with a cat's backside in my face. And it's like, yeah, I know it's going to happen. And Ouch. it's basically just, yeah, push her you away. You know, there's a, there's a, a lotion for that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it worked on a... I don't yeah. know. I was making a bad joke. I, I was know. being a bad guy. I know. But, hey, you can't be funny about all this, this stuff. It's hard to be funny about it, too, because people take it so serious. Yeah. Like me last week, because I wanted to be right. And that's one of my biggest concerns in life is where does that kind of shit come from when I've gone so long without letting that crap control me anymore, but I get sucked back into it so easily because that's what I know. Yeah. There you go. It's in my wiring, my DNA, whatever the fuck you call it, because you got to have a title People don't just understand anymore. They have to have things explained to them. Wow. Go, hmm. I understand the problem. And the smaller things got with society, the easier it was for me to be uh, aware of what was going on. I was more easily conned in the city than I am in the country. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. because the city life is faster and you got less time to spend doing shit. So you take, you replace uh, certain things with money. I'll just buy my way out of this. 
<laughs> well, I think a lot of it is the background noise that once you're in the city for a while, you no longer really notice it, but it's still there. And so it's it's a distraction on on your maybe your subconscious i don't know but i i think i think all that background noise is really you know that's what wears on a lot of people in in big cities because you just the vibration yeah that's what i mean by res by there's wavelengths and vibrations and if you don't have a relative comfort level of your own to use as a gauge i don't know what to tell you you know when you sit down on a piece of furniture and it feels uncomfortable to sit on it, then you go, wait, I can't sit on this. I got to find something more comfortable. Yeah. There you go. That's just a physical way to explain what I do with my mind, with an idea or a person. Yeah. And I think a lot of it is I see that uh, Admiralty Court thing at work, how it works and how it preys on everybody and everything it's connected to the um, the police idea. They've just got everybody conned. It's just horrible. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's a runaway train. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people just plain did not recognize because it was such a slow migration from peacekeeper yeah. to yeah. police officer to law enforcement officer. Yeah, and I had the the time of living that I grew up in is, um, I guess that year makes it kind of weird compared to the people I'm around. You know, '59 was a was a strange time to grow up. Yeah. You know, well, the, the hippie days, so to speak, when I was a little kid. Well, and I had a I had an uncle that used to, when I was like two supposedly he stayed with my, my my dad and my mom for a while. But he used to set me on his lap and have me steering his car down Whittier Boulevard so he could get girls to check him out. Yeah. Look what look what I'm doing with the baby, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I grew up with. That was like normal. Well and for us, dad would take us fishing and he would fire up the pickup and one would get to sit inside and we always either drew straws or whatever and a lot of times it wound up being the smallest one but the rest of us just piled in the back <laughs> you yeah, can't do you that shit play now catch with you oh play what throw us up in the air and catch us no throw oh. you across the, you know the two body lengths and catch you <laughs> you know we used to yeah we used to do that <laughs> with our younger too. siblings yeah yeah, my mom's favorite, one of her favorite stories when she was around was uh, my father had come home from work and my uncle and him wanted to play with me. And uh, mom just fed me. And she warned him. She says, don't do it. I just, whoops. <laughs> and just as she was talking, I landed on my dad and gave him my dinner. <laughs> there you go. But, there yeah. you go. Oh, yeah. We used to do that. And yeah, with my grandkids, I used to play Earthquake all the time. And then they started having this shaken baby syndrome shit. And it's like, really? Well, with yeah, my daughters and my grandkids. Because they're covering what the vaccines were doing. Yeah. This is legal. This has got nothing to do with how do you tell a moral man that your whole life is manipulated by immoral people that are fucking you over? <laughs> You <laughs> just think you're insane. Oh, you're a Satanist, or give you some title and dismiss you quickly. Yeah. Because God, God's doing the right thing for everybody. This is what they're taught to believe. You don't come out of the womb thinking this shit. Somebody tells it to you. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. Wow. Then how hard is it to figure out? <laughs> there well, you go. Well, Everything you need to know about life, I've just said to you. Uh-huh. Everything you've been told is bullshit, and you know it. There you mm-hmm. have it. Mm-hmm. Nice seeing you guys. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, then we wouldn't have anything to talk about. We'd be like boring, boring and dull. <laughs> mm, no, we could talk about way cool things like something I just saw on Twitter of um, someone that invented a way to uh, clean up all the plastic. In, yeah. Uh, they got it in the ocean near Japan. Yeah. And it's just way cool. Yeah, they've collected 11,000 pounds of plastic. That's a shitload Mm. of plastic. 
Right, but to a guy that's got a 10-hour work day and a two-hour commute to work and back, what does he give a fuck about plastic in Japan? Yeah, as he throws a plastic cup out the window because he's too damn lazy to just keep a grocery sack in his car or whatever. See, there you go. Lazy? No, Mary. Taught. We are taught how to behave in our societies by our peers. Yes, we are taught, but we also have a gut that lets us know. I mean, there was lots of things I was taught when I was a kid, but then I went, that's not right. And so I stopped behaving that way. (laughs) You know, well, I was taught that people that had darker skin were bad just because they had darker skin. And no, I know. And I, that. yeah, well, my dad, and then right, right. No, see, I understand. It's it, weird because m- so. my dad was so weird because uh, my first, my well, besides my kindergarten boyfriend, my first boyfriend, um, oh. his dad, or he was, quote unquote, a half breed because his dad was one hundred percent Native American, and his mom was white. So he was a half breed. And when my dad found out that he was my boyfriend, he come uncorked. What the hell are you doing with that half breed and yada yada blah 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 blah. And then later in the evening he's telling us all about how we have Indian blood in us. And it's like, wait a minute. This Mm. doesn't make one damn bit of sense. You're bitching me out. Because my boyfriend is a half breed, and then turning around and saying we're special because we've got Indian blood, what the fuck? So know. you know, that's the kind of stuff. I mean, you know, you grow up hearing that shit, and it's like that don't make any sense to me whatsoever. So oh well, you, you're one of those people that wants life to make sense. Will you tell me what a rainbow is? Rainbow is light refraction off of water particles. <laughs> boring what else could you, what else you got it's magic pixie dust up in the sky ah, <laughs> what color pixie dust it's it's multicolored that's why rainbows are multicolored duh ah i didn't know yeah well anyway see the truth about stuff is really boring i guess is the point i was trying to make you know when you ask somebody well blah, 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 I would explain this and they do Wow, you at the end of it, you go, well, that was nice, but it wasn't fun. It was statistical or scientifical or what is it, uh, religical? <laughs> yeah, but it is you know, it is interesting when you you know when you let them explain a little bit more that, and when you're looking at that the wa- the light refracting off of those water particles, and you realize that if you step just a little bit to the side, because the only way that can happen is at certain uh, a certain degree, you know, like thirty seven degrees or whatever. And as to how the light hits the water. But if you step off to the side, you'll see a completely different rainbow. And if you step around over here, you'll see a completely different... And it's like, wow. And that was one of the first little lessons that I got on it. Depends on your perspective as to what you're going to see. And it's like, oh, that's just totally cool. And then and it you've be- always used that idea about your own perspective to judge the world by. Pretty much, yeah. You depend. Wow. It depends on where you're standing as to how it's going to look. Oh, that explains a lot about you, lady. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, some people don't, and some people do, and some people say they do and don't. But you can see by the results of what you're doing whether they're telling you something that's true or not. It's how we do it. We judge the other person's words, value them by our little scales, and then we assign it a, a, a designation, an answer, a, a name, a title, a script, something. Life is supposedly, this way I see it, it's made to be, have, you're supposed to have fun and enjoy it. Oh, yeah. But how much of the time am I always being distracted to count numbers and uh, do these things that I was taught to do by other people. I didn't ask to learn them. They were taught to me. Yeah. If I never had been taught them, I would have never found them. Oh, hey, you know what? Grimmy just said what's special about a rainbow is dork matter is 
the pot of gold at the end of it. So see? <laughs> he he paid attention to my pot reference. Yes, he did. That's Thank you, Grimner. <laughs> Make, that makes my day. Well, you know, Grim does a show every week, too. And it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's nice. It's nice to be paid attention to when you're talking. Because a lot of people play around with the uh, chat and just get distracted watching links. Like you, when you do the radio show with me. <laughs> yeah. A lot like that, only different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that, only different. Same thing, only different. <laughs> oh, Goober says you got to watch out for the pesky leprechaun, though. You know, the, they're pesky because they're always guarding their stash instead of partaking of their stash. That's why they're pesky. I I, I don't know. If, the leprechauns. Please. I got enough problems. I'm going to start talking about leprechauns yeah well yeah that's <laughs> because leprechauns are the distant relatives to you garden gnomes so oh no uh, that's just wait I'm wait Mexican a minute you're a short. troll that's what it is wow. you're a troll you've been talking to my wife again <laughs> <laughs> my name is anyway your name is senior louis troll troll yeah i wonder what the f- oh that's whenever i say something that uh goes against the the grain of the society that I'm participating in. I'm a troll. Mm, well, yeah. Well, no. Whenever you say something that goes against what someone else is saying and they just plain don't like it and they don't have a valid argument for it, then they whip out the troll moniker. And Frumpy says, somebody's a horny little leg humper. I have mm. no idea who that is. I have not been called that all day. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is out with the kids and the dog. Oh, so so you have no leg to hump. No, no, no leg humping while the family's visiting. Oh, it's man. a rule. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I don't. I don't need to prove that one. I I already know. Well, there you, you know, go. See, I mean, there's because there's just some things that you fucking know, mm-hmm. and you know them. Yeah. But we've we've got this society full of these people that are convinced you need to be taught. Yeah. No, you don't. Education is mostly bullshit anyway. You're getting screwed. You're getting conned. Yeah. See, because that's what they teach, is they teach you to be tolerant and accepting of, hey, we're going to put some re- really weird shit in this inoculation and stick it in your ass. And you go, oh, okay. That sounds like fun. See, and that's, oh, Moosey joined in. Hey, Moosey. Hey, Moose. Um, that's one of those things that when I looked back, somebody had shared something years and years ago about uh, the Kansas eighth grade graduation test. You know, in order for uh, you to pass eighth grade, you had to be able to pass this test or in order to graduate from eighth grade. Holy shit, I couldn't pass that <laughs> yeah. test. Yeah, you couldn't but, even read it now. Yeah. Well, I could read it, but there's no freaking way I could pass. I, I mean, wasn't saying you, you. Well, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I know, I know. Well, but you got to clear that you thing up. When I'm speaking on a radio, little miss, you is them. Well, it's a, yes, I know. It's an editorial it you, but every yeah, it's called personalizing it and internalizing, and it happens. Stop doing that. Just play along with and have some fun. Yeah. Make it, making my tumor swell. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, Ew. you know, I some of those questions were like, you know, um, how many feet are in a square acre and, you know, stuff like yep. that. And it's like, well, how many, you know, how uh, how much does a bushel weigh and of this? And, you know, it was things that actually pertain to what they had to deal with on a daily basis. Time, right. Yeah. And I'm, as we grew older, as society got older, it stopped giving you the knowledge that you needed and started giving you this secondary bullshit that's really not important. Yeah. Cause which the, general is who in what war and became the president? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Well, because the world got complex and you need to know the complexities of the world instead of dealing with what you've got at hand. Right. So you can get your shorts made in China. Mm hmm. Ooh, I've lived a long time to wear Chinese underwear, let me tell you. Yeah. See, it took well, you how many years before you got Chinese underwear? See? I don't and know. I'm and still people waiting. over in China would go, I get them every day. 
<laughs> well, you know, people in America are the ones that are getting them every day. <clears throat> it's Ooh. the Americans that prop up all the shit that they are claimed to all be against. It's insanity. They got fucking Walmart. Still got Walmart. China, 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 China. GMO, GMO, GMO. And Johnny Average doesn't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. And they have managed to raise a uh, an interesting group of specimine. <laughs> I don't know what to call society. Mm-hmm. I think it's a failed experiment, but they keep doing it anyway. Because you got participation. Why quit? Mm, yeah. yeah. It's a kind of an amusing thing to watch. Did you see in Canada in that last w- week or two, they had some truck killer guy drive a truck down a sidewalk and wipe out a bunch of people and be a pest and all that. And I was listening to Ron Stevens talk about it. And the press will not call it terrorism <laughs> or whatever. It's, uh, I don't know. The, the way they're identifying it matters because of law. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that you got a society that the people that run it do these things to you and then blame it on somebody else that didn't do it and then show you, see, we caught him. <laughs> yeah. See? Like, oh, good old, hey, good old Oswald. Yeah. Well, you know, Boogeyman no, of the Month it, Club. This happened when I was four years old. So the lesson I learned growing up is, hey, that government tells you it happened. Don't believe them. See, and I I guess I just really didn't. I really, you know, I mean, that was a sad thing, but it was one of those sad things because my mom was sad and I really didn't, you know, I really didn't understand because I was still bu- in the, the mode of busy being a little rascal. I you got know? lost in what you're talking about. Well, you were talking about Oswald and all this other fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, said when Oswald I, by name, but yeah. you went off. Okay. Well, but when all of that went Absolutely. down, I was a kid. I was, so I mean, was I. I was, was yeah. Years old. But really? I, I, I was not paying attention to that kind of stuff. Other than my mom was really sad about it, and my dad was really <laughs> sad, and I was, I was busy being a kid, trying to reenact <laughs> what the little rascals were doing. So, right. You know, it wasn't and, until I got older and you know started okay. getting taught what happened, even though, mm-hmm. yeah. Taught, I was given his story of the mm-hmm. matter, and um, then as I got older and started doing more looking into it, because things just didn't plain make sense to me. <laughs> but sense, yeah, yeah. That's put it. <sighs> but yeah, you know, I mean, I there's I remember you know times like that, but it. To me, a lot of it was... That had I, nothing to do with what I was talking about. Well, you said that you, you remembered, you know, that's no, when you... No, I was that's making when... a point of the government taught me as a child in school that Oswald shot Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. So no, you, so you learned... No, he shoot Kennedy. There's no way in this fucking world he could have shot Kennedy. I know, but you were and saying that that's that when your used... little flag went up saying that no, you don't no, trust the government. No, jump into conclusion. I was using it as a point of reference that the government tells you shit that's not fucking true and it started as back when I was four years fucking old. Why am I going to believe now that anything the government says is true? They lied. They started out lying to me. Yeah. Everybody around me told me these people are you're, they're liars. Yeah. I didn't grow up with trust the American government. You did. Hansel did. Chloe did. Probably Grimner did. My parents didn't tell me all that shit. See, and that's that's where that's where when you say that that you know, people are taught things and that's why the world is such a mess. Okay. Uh-huh. I understand people are taught things and that's why everything is such a mess because they believe what they were taught. Well it's Jack- it's yeah. not just that. They have to continue believing what they were yeah. taught. Right. And that's the, the key to the box that we're, we do this radio stuff because of. That's why it can't work. It will never change. That's what we were disagreeing about last week is I see the, the 
strings that society has on human beings is so tight because I've walked away from so much in my life and other people complain, well, you don't, you won't do this and you won't do that and you're going to leave. Well, that was the right thing to do for everybody involved. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. But their behavior and their upbringing saw it differently. Yeah. Well, there you go. Because they were raised with that. Kennedy shot Oswald's story. And if the government tells you so, it's true. Yeah. I grew up distrusting the government from a very early age, listening to the grown-ups talk when I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> See, and I just really don't remember, you know, until like middle school and, and doing history class and that kind of shit. I've... Oh, wow. No, I was a... Mm. They they had names for kids like me, whatever the hell I was. I, I had an incredible memory. Uh, I was very quick and uh, sharp-witted, but I was very small. Hmm. And although there are events, physical events, I've got no memory of anymore, the mental shit that goes along with it is still there. See, and I guess maybe my... That's that's why I am the way I am because I just grew up with a more nurturing because I had five siblings younger than me and I had yeah. to help mom, yeah. so I and was I mommy's little helper. My, yeah, I grew up with that drive to be on my own, away from other people. I'm the antisocial one. I don't like all that society stuff. Well, I don't care for society either, but I I yeah I have that nurturing instinct. But... Yeah, organized anything just makes me cringe. Oh, I love organized chaos. <laughs> well, that, okay. or a chaotic but, organization, or whatever the hell you want to put it. But yeah, but that kind of that goes against. Never mind. You playful wordsmith, you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Well, you know what? They use words as a weapon against us, so I take their words and I play with them. Well, okay, and. It's only funny if you understand what you're doing. If somebody doesn't understand what you're doing, there that's where all the confusion and chaos comes from. And that's on them. Ha ha ha. We're taught to do this by other people as a form of fucking entertainment. That is my complaint. That is what's wrong with everything. We are not taught properly. We are taught to do this crazy shit that ends up in disaster every time. Yeah. yeah. And to embrace it and to laugh it off. And no, it's, it doesn't work for me, so I can't do that. And there, here we are. <laughs> I, I, I have absolutely nothing in life to complain about other than what I read about on the Internet about what people do to each other. And yet, do you witness that? Not anymore, no. Because I'm away from, I've left. I've been isolated for years. And I haven't seen any violence in so long. I've, I don't think I care anymore. I don't even know. It's, it's hard to explain. I'm not in that mindset where I'm defensive. I don't have nothing to defend. It's peaceful. It's quiet. There you go. Okay. But if I ever want to engage, I could. I could go to the city and do that. But I don't want to do that. So why people to this day are encouraged or don't see they're being controlled to do that very thing, There you go. that's the problem. can't identify it because you're in it. It's called Mona Lisa syndrome. Mm -hmm. you got to step away, and it's so fucking hard to do because you're in it. Yeah. I was in it. I had to be removed in you know, situations. Well, see, and that's, I see people stepping away. So. Yeah, but you live in one, yeah, but now like you, I live in one spot. I'm not going anywhere. Things changed from the chaos of the America. Because it was a chaotic kind of lifestyle, I guess, when you when I look back at it. When I was doing it, it didn't seem so bad. <laughs> but compared to what I've got today, to where I came from, it's like, wow, I was doing some crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, hey, Grimmy says that he thought Mother's Little Helper was Valium. V Grimmy, that's in a bigger city than where I grew up. I grew up in a smaller German-Russian community, and if, if you were taking Valium, everybody knew about it. 
<laughs> yeah, because the doctor was poking half of them. <laughs> anyway. You know, my my mother's doctor, when we were growing up, actually did house calls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, but it was, you know, um, to a lot of, and Mom and I were talking about this last week, and she said that um, for some reason she was talking with someone, and, and they got to talking about her doctor, and, and that person went, oh, my God, did he used to do house calls. He was so awesome because a lot of the moms didn't drive. And they had several children that they had to have in tow. And so he would just tell them, okay, don't get that little one out. Don't get all those little ones out. I will just swing by on my way home. And it usually took him about an hour to get home because he had multiple houses to stop at to say, okay, this one's got this problem. You need to do this. This one's got that problem you need to do. And mom said she even remembers talking with his wife several times and her saying that she just pretty much figured it would take a minimum of an hour after the office closed <laughs> for him to get home because he every, every night he did house calls to the mommies that did not drive and had multiple children at home so that they wouldn't have to get their kids out and get the rest of them sick trying to get one of them tended to. So, you know, that's one of those things, that's one of the dumb things that I grew up with was in a, in a smaller town, which it was a smaller college town. So, you know, when college was in session, there was like 20, 30,000 people in town. And when college wasn't in session, it, it dropped a good 10,000 people. But, but... You know, it, it, most people knew, you know, you had, you had this side of Main Street and that side of Main Street and everybody, either they knew you or they had heard about you or whatever. So, you know, I, this whole big city thing of having so many people and, and you, you can't, you don't even know half of them. That, that just, that blows my mind. I couldn't live like that. I, I've tried big city and I, I no no, thank you. But and there, okay, I'm done with mine. Go ahead. Huh? More people are born into it than not. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That and you can't explain to a a voter that society's based on control. And, yeah. And a, allowing you to do certain things for safety and what the fuck are you talking about? Please. Yeah, I grew up. I grew up in the back seat of the car without a fucking safety belt. I'm still here. Yeah, crying at what, you know, playing with uh, toys out in the yard and dogs and animals and you name it. So all this safety crap creates a market for safety apparel. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it safety does. Safety apparel and what do you call it? Accessories. So you can. Look good out there while you get wrecked. <laughs> oh, God, how funny. Someone, I'm sorry, I, I scrolled over because I had a flashy thing over on Twitter. And someone just put oh, on course. there, some of you should not be allowed to procreate. And if you have to Google what um, procreate means, yeah, then it. I'm talking about you in particular. You, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just exactly... find that amusing. Well, right, and that's what I'm saying is society's molded to this, to do that, to create that so that you'll have something to laugh about. Instead of not be not creating this kind of people, this is what society has done. Yeah. So to find it amusing, okay, ah, uh, yeah, that's the point. But when you look at the reality of what the what amusing has been turned into. That's not amusing anymore <laughs> to me, to you. Maybe it is to me. I just, I can't help but wonder what the hell, what the fuck happened to everybody, you know? And I fall right into the same traps as the next person. I just know that's what's happening. Yeah. I tell you, I don't take hands personal or to heart or anything. I just, well, recently I just got so bored I don't even talk in the chat room anymore because I know what's going to get said. By who? Everybody's predictable now. Oh, now I'm all full of myself and you're all predictable. So what's really going on? What's wrong? 
Well, it's something inside of you. No, it can't be you guys because you're all the same. But, see, I can act out however I want to because I'm me. Yeah. There you go. Well, so I don't, like you, I, I don't have a clutch in some areas. I just say it, whatever it is. Don't care about how you take it because that's not my responsibility. No. Okay, but what is my responsibility? Might be to learn how to say it better. There you go. All right. That's what I was raised with, but my reality is way different. And why is it? Uh, I'll give you an example. My ex and my present uh, relationship. Mm-hmm. There's one thing that's different about this than any than the one before it is this one listens to me when I talk to her well so she's not dismissive about you and your conspiracy nut theories and you got to stop all that you know the government's not that yeah this one she knows yeah there that made all the difference it was as simple as finding somebody that thought the way I thought I went, holy fuck, this has never happened before. Well, and maybe that was a choice that you made. You made a choice to no longer be, to gravitate towards people that didn't oh, understand or validate it. you. It, uh, it uh, is. It's an internal it. choice. Yeah, yeah. You take it way further than I do. Yeah. I'm way cut and dry, and you're, you're into all the details of the hows and whats and whos and wheres and whys. And me, and black and white. It happened. It didn't happen. Yeah. There you go. That, it's hard for me to discuss it with you is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't my I don't have a relative experience in that uh, that wordsy girly shit. <laughs> you know that syrup. I was raised with a what with a whip. I mean, fuck. Well, so was I. Was it? Yeah. So, but I still think there's a gender split, and girls get treated differently than men do females get treated differently than males in in society oh yeah and that that there's an off balance in in uh but we're we're pitted against each other on on the internet right now male superiority and all this other just horseshit white supremacy just kind of just the stupidest crap you can ever imagine hearing and what it boils down to is uh with a, with one of those, you can get as many of these as you want. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the reality of life. Life revolves around men and women. And what society did was they changed the dynamics of the game. They made it normal to be gay. <laughs> okay. Not acceptable, not okay, but normal. Yeah, it's part of life. Uh, all right, well, so is fucking a cat, but not everybody wants to do that. True. Some people do. Yeah. You know how I know that? Because <laughs> you probably knew someone that wanted to. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> There's a law against it in a uh, book of obscure laws. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and I opened it up, and in, it said obscure laws in California, and in some county it was, you're not al- it's unlawful to have sex with a dead cat. Wow thought wow gee who had to think of that Mm. you're in in, you're in a position of power in government and this is the kind of shit you write down to be remembered by (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's there and 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 still all these years later the fraud's been so obvious and we still do it yeah yeah Scarcity it, is the basis of the whole thing, I think. That idea that's if you're if you don't go along, you're going to go without. That fear of running out of shit keeps people in the uh, game they shouldn't be in. Yeah. Well, there's an awful lot of lies that. Yeah. Well, if you raised, if you live in a, I've lived in the city, lived in the country, so I know both sides of it now from experience, from doing it. And I'm telling you, if you live in a city, you're you're vision is limited by what you see around you yeah and that's obscured by man-made crap nonsense lies and stories but you're taught that's true you believe therefore you 
believe that is true. Therefore, it makes it true, whether it is or not. It doesn't matter. That is the part that's left out of that equation. My beliefs do not influence you unless you agree with them. <laughs> Other than that, it's just two people don't say the same words. <sighs> whoop, whoop. No, I don't know that. I've had an awful lot of discussions with people where their beliefs influence me, but not necessarily because I agree with them. But sometimes it's because. Yes, I allow them to, but it's because I don't agree with them. More often than not, it's because I don't agree with them. And so. I want to dig into it and see where did they come with this, come up with this, how did they get to this? And, you know, and then it's like, okay, well, that might shift my perspective a little bit, but I still have my, and of course, I'm one of those that, to me, belief really means something other than what it does probably for a lot of other people. And that's Uh fine because it's my definition, how I resonate with it. But to Mm -hmm. me, you know, uh, my beliefs are things they are. The, the quick cheesy answer is a belief is merely a bunch of thoughts that you have made a habit of thinking and agreeing with, you know, so, but that's, that's the quick cheesy answer. But beliefs are, you know, those are things that are formed over time and they morph. You know, Maybe they don't. Maybe that was, that's the point. Maybe that's the way it worked for you, but that's not the way I see it worked for me. Well, and that's, that, that's your thing. Exactly. Well, but in a, in a world of conformity, you're not allowed to do that. If you give a person that's in a cage a choice, the first thing they do is panic. They don't hear choice. They hear different than. Okay, that might be the average person, yeah. I'm just telling you the way I see it. I don't know. You see it how you see it. I don't care how you see it. And yet you bring it up. We're on action. <laughs> Fuck. You, you always, what do you want me to do? Do a, a fry, fry an egg? What? No, we have to talk, crazy woman. Uh, yeah. you, you know, what do you want me to do for two hours? Sit here and fry eggs and chop onions? <laughs> Come on. Hey. We're talking about ideas. That yeah. is the point, you yeah. wacky broad you. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. And you got to oh, yeah. She's being a wacky broad. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, lighten up the cigarette. I think I'm going to get my friend Mr. Happy. That's uh-huh. what I'm going to do. Yeah, uh, there you go. Yeah, you you well, need Mr. Happy. Uh, well, uh. see, it's so obvious to me that, that me and you see the world the same. When we talk about shit, it sounds different, but the reality of, no, we see the we see the same thing. And that comes out in the way we live. Yeah, well, very similar, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. everybody in the world is different from the next guy. But in another way, everybody is the same. So whatever side of that thing you want to pound on you take your choose you know you take your choice and you you go with it <laughs> there's a never ending uh supply of bullshit oh that's true i, I don't even open twitter i shit two days uh, i don't even, hardly been reading anything lately just uh playing games on the internet mm, see and i mm. I a lot of times have videos playing in the background, but for the most part, it's just kind of background noise. And I'm puttering or I'm outside or whatever. Yeah. And Did I mention it's been raining on and off for three days? No. <laughs> yeah. Makes me sad. I no. guess so. But it's April in Denmark, so there you go. Cold weather. Well, yeah. Because I I said this before, and I'll say it again. If it's less than 72 degrees, I'm cold. That's the way I am. That's the way my body works. So fucking what? Call me pussy again. I won't get mad this time. (laughs) But, you know, it's just like anything else. It's a choice. I could choose not to. Yeah. So I tend not to 
take my bitching about it too serious. I just go, oh, I'm Jewish and I complain about weather. Whoop, whoop. That's what Jews do. <laughs> ah. What are you surprised or what? <laughs> no, not really. I did my job. <laughs> yeah. I should get paid. <laughs> There, mm, see, and there's that whole going back to the monetary thing. Because it's all about currency. Because we allowed that. That's, yeah, we did. As a, as a group, that's what we have accepted. And when I speak against it, I get my ass handed to me. So why bother? Just jump, jump ship and join the other side. Because they're not listening any damn way. They were listening. They know I don't believe any of this shit in the first fucking place. So I could care less, but it's constantly a matter of top. It's a topic on our plate to, to, to deal with. Hmm, okay. Well, here's, here's a topic for you or something. This is, and once again, I'm on Twitter. I, the feed is just scrolling, but this just kind of grabbed my attention as you were talking about that. It's from Inspired with Lucas, and it's Eight Things to Quit. Number one is trying to please everyone. Number two <laughs> is fearing change. Number three is living in the past. Number four is overthinking. Number five is being afraid to be different. Number six is beating yourself up over mistakes. Number seven is sacrificing your happiness for others. And number eight is for thinking that you have no purpose. Things that you wow. need to quit. Well, what if you don't care if you have a purpose or not? Because I don't care if I have a purpose. Well, that's yours. That's okay. I still think I've... my purpose in life is to bring comic relief mm. in an otherwise what others would like you to believe is a dull and dreary and horrible world. Maybe not dull, but dreary and horrible world. It's not a dreary and horrible world. There's all kinds well, of way can, cool things I going on. I can argue on. that and say it is because if I choose to not have a purpose, there will be other people to assign me one in my absence of choice. They'll make a choice for me <clears throat> because not choosing is not enough. <laughs> well, not choosing is making a choice, though. That's the, what I fucking just said. Yeah. Not choosing is not enough. They will go the step further and choose for me when I already did. But my choice is not good enough for them. Well, That's what I'm trying to explain. Okay, it's and like so contrary to my nature to do things that I don't want to do. And like your lovely bride told me years ago, <clears throat> and and has been a wonderful little thing for me to reflect on from time to time. Just because someone wants to slap a badge on you doesn't mean you have to wear it. It doesn't matter either. There are certain circumstances where it depends on what it entails, like court proceedings and reality, according to society. Some of this shit is it's make believe, but they make it real by enforcing their make believe. Yeah. See, there's no police presence here, so you're more responsible to take care of yourself and behave in a positive way yeah doesn't attract the kind of people that it might some other places but the places where i visited in other countries even america that didn't have law seemed to get along better than places that did yeah, yeah. yeah and they were always a lot smaller because that's the the one thing you got to have to not need law is a small population. Oh, yeah. And then it goes beyond that. Then you'll have like places that are so f there's like where me and Cirque live that there's no reason to come here except you were invited to it. Yeah. Nobody would wander here on some fluke. I mean, maybe a bike rider or, you know, a uh, traveler. But. You know, like an invading horde would never... What would they come here for? You're at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, There's nothing to conquer here. There's nothing but mountains and shit beyond the water. You know? So 
<clears throat> strategically and by what I've s- seen of wars over the lifetime, they don't have an interest in a place like this. No, and that's okay. Well, I was fortunate enough to find that in life. I am, I'm sure there's lots like... Uh, one of the guys on the RLM, I won't even say his name so I don't start gossip, but if you've been reading, and you'll know who he is anyway. But he's said he, he's having trouble communicating with his wife because he wants to move away and she doesn't. She don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and that's what yeah. I mean is, okay, well, okay, it, there's so many ways to look at another person's troubles, but when they're your own, you're more stagnant about the answer. The answer has to be this and it has to be that. When it's somebody else's problem, you be more objective and think of more things, more subjective, see where it makes what it makes you feel like. But when it's your own, your your choices seem to be more narrowed. Now I speak for me, but I say you. So yeah. Yeah, you're you using the editorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't I don't think in that respect we're all that damn much different. No. But what direction you take life in, I don't know. You can be passive. You can be agreeable. There's so many ways you can treat a problem or a disagreement or an issue that, wow, life seems like it's, uh, when it was right word, uh, like there's nothing that can't be done and nothing you can't do. And then... There's a cop that pulls you over because you had a broken tail light and sorts all that shit out real quick. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, but you choose to live in that reality. But you're not taught that. You're taught that you're a citizen and they have, you know, this is a country and support and blah, 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 blah. Fucking up the ass all your life about this crap that's not real. Okay, so it, people it's are real taught things because we agree with it. Yeah. yeah, people are taught things, and then people grow out of that, or stick with it. However, the case may be, but there is that ability, and I think it's in everyone. Everyone has the ability to grow out of what they are taught. Okay, well, what if you don't even have an interest in in doing it? Say, so, like the 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 fellow that's religious that has a a. a a cancer victim in his life, but refuses to hear anything else other than what he's programmed to hear because of his religion. He'll never hear you. You can talk till your eyes bleed. Don't nothing. The programming's different. How do you can't do nothing about that? No. And just recognizing the fact that you cannot do anything about whatever is and then realizing that the best thing that you can do is just walk away. Yeah. Well, that's what I've learned in life is exactly that. How to walk away from something that's not good for both of you. Yeah. You know? And not be financially uh, a cunt and I got to have well, if I can't be a, in this then I've got to have that and I've got to have this. I just left. You can have all of it. Fuck it don't care about stuff enough to uh, first you're losing a relationship and then you're going to be lugging shit around to remind you where you came from. (laughs) And that, that's the way life taught me is not the way most people learn it. Well, and that, that's because that is the path that you're going down and that's not the one that they're, yeah. yeah. Boy, but to hear other people talk about life is uh, so contr- it sounds like it's so controlled. Yeah. The the difference is some people allow external control and some people take control themselves. Well, I know that's what you mean by being re- self self responsible. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but. When you mix that idea with a uh, some form of society, then who's in control? The society is. And we all fight that somehow, I think. Just different. Yeah. And some people fight it by joining it, too. That's what I mean by pick a side. You're either for it or you're against it. 
and I'm trying to be neutral of it. I don't want to give a fuck about it. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, well, it's a very, very hard place. It's a choice I make, and it's hard to be there just by chance. I got to work at this shit. Well, there you go. Well, yeah, because I try to give the other guy the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe he's not having a good day today. <laughs> I've been there. Oh, yeah. I think we all have. Right. Well, but that's on the Internet. That's where we don't play the same way we, as we do in nose to nose. Okay. Now, what was that again? Stop reading the chat. No, said, I'm, I'm trying to grasp face that. face to face. We don't behave the same face to face as we do on Internet. That um, the, the behavior changes things for a lot of folk. Yeah, the conversational conversational medium does. Yeah, because if, if you're face to face with someone, most people will not be as abrasive and abusive. Some people no, will I, be. Yeah, but have you noticed that everybody's abrasive and abusive? At not one just point me. or another. I'm not the only one. Yeah, through through the course of the conversation that's taken a life of its own, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll find, if you read all the texts, you'll find that everybody was equally fucked up to everybody. There was no good guy in this story. It just everybody was pissed off, and that's so. There's, if you don't let that control you, there you go. Yeah. That's the lesson to be learned. But it could be so much better, but we're not taught how to do that. We're only taught how to fuck it up. <laughs> See, and that's that's where I laugh at a lot of that shit because most of it is words on a screen and it's like All of it is all of it, Mary. Well, all of no, it not not screen. everything of, everything isn't words on a screen, but you know, when you're talking about computerized communication, yes, well, that's what it's I'm all talking about. Okay. Yes, dear. But well I was right I now. was going broader. But no, no. Well, that's broader. where I was going broader, but yeah, no, I'm when you're small. talking about words on a screen, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And and yeah. yet I still laugh at it because it's like, OK, you can either get all wound up and mm -hmm. carried away in the vibe that's currently going on. Or you can interject some completely silly, makes absolutely no sense, doesn't fit with the current stream of things, throw something mm -hmm. like that in there or walk away. But either way, it's a break. It's a break from all the. <laughs> You know, and I don't some, know. I don't sometimes... hear any of that except on the internet. Well, oh, uh, I've been around that other places in the internet, but in, even then, you know, I just I get to a point where it's like, my God, listen to all of this. <laughs> so I'll do something <laughs> dumb or silly or whatever just to break the tension a little bit, if for uh, no other reason to get people breaker. to laugh at me or laugh at some uh, stupid ass thing that I said or did, so that they're um, no longer throwing daggers metaphorically or whatever at someone else when all it is is just a battle of words it's like okay y'all are it's having a hell again. of a battle of words but i'm gonna stand over here and do something totally stupid just for shits and giggles yeah but that's all it's ever been and that's all it can ever be the reality shit that part that's your that depends on your indoctrination and your training into into society because you're not born with all that shit. Or otherwise, I would have it. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like identifying the color blue. It's not that damn hard. <laughs> I mean, it is like that. Not that it's not like that. It's so simple. It, it seems complicated. And most people want to go with the complex. I go with the simple. Yeah. And my, maybe because I'm so uh, simple, that life is so simple. And um, as I get older, I don't want to make more at, more problems and more work out of life. I want to slow down and take it easy, you know. Yeah. And then Cirque went and broke her hand and kind of interrupted the winter time a little bit. <laughs> 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 you know, but. Hey, 
hey, she's back. She can make a. Uh, she's got that squishy coot, which uh, like silly putty shit. Yeah, you know. And so work in her can, hand. Yeah, work her. Yeah, well, she'll be. Yeah, she'll be making a fist before the end of the week. I would assume. But poor thing. Ooh. And then that's been weighing on me lately too, because it was just a bad break. Yeah, the fingers. That oh broke. yes. Oh yeah. She sent me a picture. <sighs> that was oh uh, my fingers and hurt make, just looking. And, and I make jokes about people that do stuff like that, and then she goes and does it <laughs> for real. Yeah. Like, wow. Okay. Brings it home. Yeah. It Maybe does. I just I don't know. How do you explain it? An accident? How you deal with other people's uh, errors is. That's an interesting thing. I don't know how to look at that. I don't know how you do it. I know how I do it. I think it's different with each. Well, of course it would be different, but there's got to be, like, there are similarities in the way people see shit. Yeah. You know, not everything is so fucking individual that nobody sees it like you. No, there's so fucking many of us and so many ways to look at it. That it seems like, <laughs> hey, nobody sees it like I do. And that's true. Nobody does because nobody's got your well, eyes. Yeah, somebody does because I met Cirque and she does. So there went that theory. Except for you guys do have some disagreements. That's not about the basic core belief, though. What's that got to do with it? Well, you know what? If you get right down to basic core beliefs, I'll bet you most people... It's it's all the peripheral stuff that gets people bickering. If if you get well, it down no, to the, well, we might we might break down and raise our voice every six months over yeah. something. You know, you get a little stressed in a relation. Everybody does that. Yeah. But it never it's never about uh, anything of any value. It's like we made a pact when we started this thing, and we won't argue about anything real. If we argue about something, it's from the fucking outside. It's not part of the core. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. And it, that's part of the design is so that you, you don't get along well enough with each other to survive the bad times because it comes in waves. And people get, yeah, you get a little stressed about something. And then you, you the person you're the closest to is the one that you raise your voice at. Yeah. Because you know that they, they won't kill you for calling them a dummy. But the guy at the train might. <laughs> yeah. So that's what relationships are for, so that people can, you know, got somebody they can depend on and say the crazy shit to when they don't even mean it. Yeah. Well, if if you live in one of those everything's rigid and nothing flows and you can't, you're out of control, those are the results you'll get. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, the way me and Cirque look at it is similar because we just roll with it, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. If we go up in a mushroom cloud, I hope you're home from work so we can do it on the backyard together. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But none of this uh, constant worry about it, you know, it's a possibility. We're, we're aware of that, but it doesn't consume us. Yeah. The end of the world. Ooh, because, hey, times are, according to the Internet, times are troubled right now. And the world's in chaos and all this crap. And I, I, don't, feel a, I don't feel a thing of it because I'm not in that. <laughs> I'm just reading about it on the Internet, reacting to it emotionally, you know, with the way I think and the way I feel about how I think. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Special, huh? Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. what I was looking for is for just for a way to be just a normal person and and get along in life. And I found it. And I, I thought, wow, if I could find it, anybody could find it. Yeah. So it's not where I'm at. It's how I see things that mattered. Yeah. Yeah. I was uncomfortable in the States, North Carolina. That was obvious. Yeah. And the further, you know, this trip I've been on since Scotland's gotten, the more comfort I've 
more comfortable I feel. Like I'm keep getting them further away from this place that I didn't want to be at. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. when you get yeah. sometimes you either go with that push or you fight it, and that's just. Okay, but what I learned was it had nothing to do with the place. The place is a fiction that I was raised to believe to call something. And it's not about that. It's just a way to control where you are. The government and the societies and all this is a bean counting so that they know what you what they can you know what you're allowed to do by law. <laughs> See? Well, Instead of pursuing dreams or doing something crazy with your life, you have these restrictions that you have to live by <laughs> for the welfare and the safety of all that you know, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. They they sell fucking shotguns at Walmart. Tell me about safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, somebody's playing piano. That was Ollie. He was ah. just being funny. Ah. So he was basically doing the musical interlude for your punchline? Is that what it was? Or? I have no idea. He was, <laughs> probably didn't notice I was on the radio. They were outside in the fire pit, and they just came in, and I'm sitting over here in the corner of the room. Oh. And I'm talking like a normal voice, so they probably even didn't even know I was here. Oh, so you're sitting in the corner, huh? <laughs> yeah, and the piano's on the other side of the room, so. Have you been naughty? You've been put in the corner. Yeah, I've been so naughty, somebody gave us a piano. Oh, hey. I'm telling you, this marriage thing, whatever, people like married couples in Denmark. Well, cool. well, maybe they just like you guys. I don't know. I married Circle. I didn't marry you guys. Ah, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think she just slapped me in my nose. Wow. <laughs> Damn, you know how to hurt a Jew. <laughs> hey, boo -boo. Uh, no, I don't know. See, I really don't believe I take all that um, reality shit that people take seriously as seriously as I think I do. Uh, I think that's my my upbringing taught me to behave a certain way about certain things, and my willpower took me away from all that and took me astray and I don't do that anymore oh okay but what I do is uh, just take it as it comes I suppose you know well there you go well that and that well, really is all anybody can do it's just it's how they react as they're taking it as it comes the, yeah, but we're we got all these fun things to argue about religion and education and politics and it's all stories that you were told by other people, you know, and so little of that is hands on experience. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Whether the world's round or fucking flat or sh uh, shaped like a, a, you know, a platypus's cha cha doesn't have anything to do with what I'm doing now. To me. No. No, it's well, and it really doesn't to anybody unless you're someone that's got a job where you get paid to to prove. Well, I'm still leaning towards how quickly we are to fight about things that don't matter under the guise that they matter somehow. Well, yeah, people are funny creatures, aren't they? They're very funny creatures. They, uh, I be, I be a people, I be a crazy creature. People too. It's yes. not just you. Uh, there's, there's many of us. And I don't, I don't so much think I'm separate from other people. I just think that I think differently than the most majority of you out there in the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Cause the world needs at least one flash. Well, they got plenty of those, I'll tell you. Whew. Just like and the world needs a Hansel and the world needs a Grammy and the world Gretel. needs a Grimmer. Yeah. And... Well, I don't know. I can't really see. I'll, eh, I guess so. I'm just trying to avoid him. 
there's there's nothing to say to Hansel. He's he's a Hansel. Yeah. Hansel but is a handful. That's there you go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I guess I'm bored now. No, I, I thought it would come to it because he's just doesn't doesn't get creative with his insults. He just relies on the same old stuff. Heard it a million times. Uh it wasn't true then, it's not true now. Uh so yeah. I had I had to take the the knife and cut the thing off my foot. Oh, oh the pain. <laughs> <laughs> it was like removing an unsightly wart off the end of your nose, but I done it. Ah. God, yeah, I just thought I'd say goodbye to him on the radio. Ah, so it was one of those one of those things where it's like everywhere you looked, you out of the periphery, you saw that nasty little thing just pestering you. Yeah, and then the other day he said something really rude, obnoxious, and I wanted to comment to it, and I thought, why bother? So there you go. That went. Oh, I'm done. I'm free of the wart that was stuck on the end of my Jew nose. Yay! That we once called Hansel, the, you know, the Nazi, because <laughs> he not he not see he he don't get it. He no get it. He not see no, what he do. It's okay. It's okay. Be, I agree with Grimner more. The, the the state the world is in is what they call anarchy. Is not what anarchy is. It's what they've made it become. With a lot of work, too. They really had to work at this shit. Uh, well, yeah. This is so fucked up. It would be so hard to unfuck the world now that you can't get anybody to even think that it's possible. And well, I think I think I could do it in six months. I think that's why instead of trying concentrating on trying to unfuck the world, you just un, unfuck your part of the world. If there's nothing d- to unfuck. I'm, then well, I'd be if bored. there's if there's hey. nothing to unfuck in your part of the world, then booyah, bonus <laughs> round. But there's lots of other people that probably have fucks in there, and they well, need to right. unfuck them. That's that's why I do the dork table, so I can get a just my weird opinion out there about stuff. And uh, who knows? Maybe somebody will go. Wait a minute, I could do that if I wanted to. You know, get your will back. Take well, control of yourself. You know? If yeah. you needed to hear that from somebody else, I know I, I've done it. So there you go. There you go. And see, Grimmy says, for every flash out there, there's a thousand Hansels. Wow, Grim, I really did not need hey, that statistic. Wow. That was very, <laughs> yeah, but he, that was very nice, Mr. Grimner. Thank you. But you know yeah. what? It's it's probably pretty damn accurate. And speak of the devil. Yeah. Our time is up. <laughs> Our captives can be released. Yay! <laughs> Hey. There's Grimmy. Which, speak of the Hansel. <laughs> you know, next next week I want to I want to bring back ten words. Oh, but okay. I okay. want to bring back the that. Yeah, we'll do that game again, but okay. we'll start over. Okay. And this time I'll I'll take my week and plan some really interesting so I can yeah, cap capitalize off my investment. <laughs> and first thing that comes to mind, right? <laughs> Well, that would probably be the most fun way to play it. Yeah, well. If you pick and choose your answers, then you control the outcome. But to just say the first thing that you think. <laughs> oh, but see, Ooh. I have a tendency to make you go, huh? Well, <laughs> the beauty of you is nobody fucking knows what you're going to do next, not even you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so if I, if I was ever to hear somebody tell me, they go, oh, I knew Mary was going to do that. I could honestly look them in the face and say, you know what? I'll bet she didn't decide until she just did it. <laughs> so it's pretty good that you're that fucking knowledgeable. <laughs> they could uh, read my mind. No, <laughs> I listen to your radio show. <laughs> I've talked to you for many years, and I, I've actually paid attention. You yeah, know? I know you have. <laughs> And I've yeah that I've looked back on some of the stuff I did years ago and it's like wow. So what? Hey, well, that's no, what life's about. But it's it's cool because you know it's it's like everybody wanting to ban Tom Sawyer because it has uh, <laughs> Nigger Joe in it or whatever and Injun yeah. Jim or I don't yeah. know. 
And it's like, no, yeah, yeah, you need to have those things so you can look back on them and go, wow, look at how far we've come. My, yeah. look at the changes that have happened. Isn't it awesome? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. But they well, want to remove that, the evidence. See, people, that's what I mean. People are not taught how to be nice to each other. They're taught how to buy each other shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Welcome to reality. Yes. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. I didn't make it this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put your finger at somebody else. I yeah. was in Chicago. Yeah. And if you're going to point that finger, use it as a wand. I am hey. going to. Oi. <laughs> I put the <laughs> juju a on you. <laughs> finger wand? Yeah, a finger wand. Like you're going to flick a booger on him or something. I don't know. Ow. And... <laughs> Ow. Mike. <laughs> That was the farthest thought from my mind completely. I, that never even came. That was way the hell out there somewhere. See? See? So now you know. it wasn't you know. like I was going to do any of that. No, no. <laughs> See? No. You never know what I'm going to say. No, exactly. <laughs> she oh, proves well. my point. What a way to end the dork table. <laughs> well, the guess what? The joke's on you, society. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, everybody, for listening in. Be sure to check back because tomorrow at noon, Grimner is going to be playing the blues directly following him, Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on your ass at behind.